Right, here's how to make a rudimentary sort of basic stove with a beer can. Some, a little drop of methylated spirit and boil a kettle. Just cut the top of the beer can like that with your pen knife. It's dead simple. Doesn't have to be neat, it can be rough. Watch your fingers like. And take a look like a, a marlin spike screwdriver will do or the point of a knife or anything. And just around this rim here where it lifts, or you know, about say a centimetre from the top, just make a series of holes. Again, just so they're all opposed to each other, you know, get them as even as you can. It's not important that they're dead even. Depending on the size of the can, it depends on how many holes you need. Once you've made them roughly all the same distance apart, go in a bit and chamfer them out, just smooth them off so they're round. As round as you can get them. Like I say, it's only a rough desk, it's not a permanent stove. My son Ben has actually made a permanent stove based on this principle. So, and then around the bottom here, again, a couple of centimeters from the bottom, go around and make some more holes. As near to opposite as you can get them again. Takes a couple of minutes. So you've got that, you've got the holes around the bottom, a couple of centimetres, the holes around the top. The top top of the can cuts out. This will literally work with any aluminium drinks can, but you can cut the top out there. Then what you do then is you light a cigarette, which you previously rolled. Get your methylated spirits. Pour it in until it's just below them holes there. I've actually overfilled that a bit. I've threw it up here on a template. I'll pick the camera up now and show you. So I'll throw it up here on a template now. It's sliding a bit with the mats. So and then just light it. It'll burn off what's on the outside. And it'll ignite what's inside the tin. Because it's a new tin, there'll be a bit of smoke as it burns off the paint and the lining inside the tin. It takes a couple of minutes. And what we're waiting for is we're waiting for it to bloom out of these holes here. Like that looks a bit harsh, but it's not. It's just the, the liner of the can and the paint burning. It calms down in a couple of seconds. And you can see the flames there. Should now just be starting to bloom. Out of the holes around the top, you see them. So it's obviously metal pots with a bit of water in it. Make sure it's not going to fall over. The pot lift is there. The wind's getting to it a bit, so I'm trying to stand in the way. So you can probably hear the water is starting to eat up. There's not much water in it, to be fair. I didn't want to go back in to get more water into the house itself because my mother in law's in there, so.
about a third of a litre of water in that pot, just enough for a cup of tea, like. You should be able to hear it boiling. Just starting to heat up now. You can see some steam rising from the water there. I've done this with this can half full, like with a Pepsi can. You can use them a couple of times as well, you know. I've done this at work. The kettle are used on the uh, fire stoves. I've used on a tin can. This is like a small Heineken keg can. It's about the size of your hand, you know. And there's like a quite an egg cup full of methylated spirits in there. There you go. Now, if we can take a quick look. It's like boiling water. So you could probably do another tin on there. It does burn quite fiercely and it burns for quite a while. Obviously, I've, seen, I've, seen, I've done this on site with other security guards, and what they've done is immediately it's gone out. They've gone like, wow, and picked the tin up. You know, you can't do that. You've got to leave the tin for a bit until it goes out. So, that's it. Hot brew from a tin can, pen knife, spike, little drop of methylated spirit. Cheers.